Hi everyone, so in this video we will connect our wallet with React.js app. And this example I'm using MetaMask, but you can use pretty much any wallet. So we will click on this connect wallet, this pop-up will appear. I will give my password, unlock. So it will give me my address and a chain ID of that particular testnet or mainnet. So if I click on this pop-up again and change it to other wallet, uh, other account, it will change my account. If I click on the mainnet, it will change the chain ID. So it will give it this one, the application. So and without wasting any time, this is the article that we will go by. I have all the commands uh, that you need for this application. You will get connector. You will get a, a complete JS file and everything is out there. So you can just check it out. The link will be in the description below. So I'm going to just copy this command and I will go to my folder. I will just write CMD and paste. It will take some time. So I will be right back once that is complete. So as that is done, before getting into application, let me show you what MetaMask is. So MetaMask is a software cryptocurrency wallet used to integrate with Ethereum blockchain. It allows users to access their Ethereum wallet through a browser extension or mobile app, which can be then be used uh, to integrate with decentralized applications. So it is just a wallet that connects your application with a blockchain. So if you want to do some transaction, it will help you in doing some those transactions. So before we do anything further, I will I'll just install this MetaMask extension. I will go here and I will add this. Uh, MetaMask. So it is happening. So as that is going on, I will open my uh, application in VS Code, which says that system cannot because that is Web3. And I will say code dot. Uh, we will come back here before we just set up our MetaMask wallet. All right, so MetaMask is installed. I will just pin it so I can see it here. Now, as that is here, I will just click on Get Start. It says uh, help us improve MetaMask and whatever. So I will just click on Agree. Now, either you can import if you already have it, you will need those uh, secret recovery phrase. If you have it, you can just click on import and paste those here. But I don't have it, so I will create a new wallet. I will give a password. I click on have read it. I have read and I agree terms of, terms of use. So if you go here, you can read it or I'm reading it very fast. Okay, I agree. Nice. Yeah, there is a video it shows how to connect everything. So I'm already showing it to you, so you don't need that. Now this is the 12 letters that you need to save with yourself because if you lost that, then you cannot recover your account. So I will copy this and I will save it very safe place. It's the safest place I have. So I will just copy and paste it here. So I'm doing it here is because I don't need this account. This is just for testing. So I will just deactivate or remove this account once I'm done with this video. So that is why I'm just pasting it here. So if I click here, right now it says that please select each phrase in order to make sure it is correct. So the first word is this thing. And the, then together, where is together? Here it is. Then this one, bind, where is bind? Anchor, joy, allow, drama, opera, sequel, Vanessa and Broome. I'm completed, so, so now my wallet is created. So it is an Ethereum mandate. So if you wanna add other things, you can add some test nets if I, off uh, on this one, you can see the uh, other test nets. You can add uh, all these as well. 
the Polygon, BNB, and whatever. Sent home. And you can create a new account as well. So there will be two accounts. So one is this, and the other one is this. Uh, but we don't really need that. So our main focus is that we need to connect MetaMask with a React application. So let's go to a React application. So this is what we need. So I will just remove all these things from here. And uh, I'll say, hello, what's up? And I will open this terminal and say, npm start. All right, it says, hello. Let me do go to the article. Now the next step is that we need to create a folder with the name connector and paste this here. So I will copy it and I will create a folder with let's say components. Components. And say folder. Components. And another file with the wallet. And in there I'll say Connectors. Let's just paste it here. Now, what is connector? So, connector is actually the main thing that you need to know. Why? Because it is used to connect to your wallet. So, now here we have this injected. So, injected means that con the connectors that are uh, that we have as an extension. In future videos, maybe we will go by wallet connector, trust wallet, or uh, Talisman or there are multiple wallets. So in this video, we will go by the injected ones, but in the future one, we will know what other uh, wallets we have. Now, what is supported chain ID? So one, three, four. So these are different, uh, you can say a blockchain. So one is for magnet ether, Ethereum, and um, this is for, I guess, Rinky buyer. And um, so these are for other things. So these are used to, I mean, these are representing a blockchain. So if you remove one from here, now this application will not work on Ethereum, mainnet. So if you remove all these, so now it will work on just the Ethereum mainnet. So you, so whatever blockchain you want to connect, you have to see in the, in the documentation, the chain ID, and you have to add it here, like with a comma, so this, like this. So I will just, uh, let's see what we, we have in the article. Uh, I will install this thing. Space, now what is Web3 React Core? You will know, I will tell you. All right, as it's done, I will, also install this one. Web3. And after that, I will install this one as well. So we need these three libraries for now. So I'm just gonna do it once. So I'll say npm install and Web3 React. Let's go to our article where it says, it says uh, copy this below and paste in your uh, index.js file. So I'll copy this and go to my index and just remove everything and paste it here. So what is going on here? Now, remember I installed the library web 3 react slash core so right now we're using it. So we are importing this Web3 React provider from here and wrapping all our application inside of it. And this is getting the get library. We have created this function here. We are getting Web3 from Web3 and providing this parameter as a provider and given this function as a, as a, uh, as a prop, you can say, to this, to this component, this Web3 provider and wrapping our application inside of it. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much of explanation of it. And uh, it is explaining here, so you can go by all these. Yeah. 
right now it says that uh, go to your app.js file here I will create a function connect metamask and I will create a function here with the name connect metamask and I will make it async because we will have stuff that we need uh, I mean we we need that async here and right now I will import web3 react core uh, I'll use web3 react from this library it's that kind of hook and from this hook I need uh, activate activate and I will I'll try and catch inside of it try and catch and I'll say await activate oops activate and inside of this and parameter we have to give uh, this one this injected now we will have another uh, connectors like this here but right now as we have just injected so I will have to copy this and I'll just paste it here and then import it from here so it will automatically import it for me as that is done I will just give it here on click and give it in a parameter and I think it's giving some error let's see where's the error no error so if I click on metamask it is popping up right right now we don't want to connect it because if I connect it nothing will happen because we are not using any uh, any conditions so now so when I connect this there is this this wallet address so this this wallet address, this is my address so how to get this address so we have one more thing in this hook by name account yeah account so if I go here and say div and say account like this and if I go here and click on connect right now and uh, next next you see we see the account right now so uh, now we don't have any disconnect button so we just have a connect because it is already connected so how to disconnect it so we are not sure what to do so I will create one more button here I'll just copy this one and paste it here I'll say disconnect I'll say disconnect make it capital and I will create this function here I just copy this one disconnect metamask and instead of writing activate here we will import one more thing from here which is deactivate and I will just copy this here and paste it here now we need to do one more thing so when it is connected then I want to show the disconnect button and when it is not connected I want to show disconnect so we have one more thing here and that is active this shows the status if a metamask is connected or not so if I do this if I say if it is connected show connected if it is not connected then show not connected let's see so if I say it says connected so if I disconnect it says not connected let me give a BR so it says not connected if I connect now it says connected if I disconnect it says disconnected now instead of showing both buttons so when it is connected i want to show the disconnect button so when it disconnected i want to show the connect button so what i will do is i'll just copy this and uh, i can do this mm, i'll say active so when it's connected do this and when it is not connected to this so if I copy this here and 
copy this here. Let's remove this from here. And I did it. We will do it like this. So if it is connected, then disconnected. If it is not connected, then connected. If I go here, right now I'm seeing this connect button. So if I click on this, now it is connected. It's a disconnect button. Disconnect, connect, disconnect. Now you must be wondering why I'm not seeing the MetaMask pop-ups. So the reason is that it is already verified with this with this uh, uh, with this website. I mean, already it is uh, uh, unlocked. So if I go here and lock it, if I click here, it will pop up here. Now, if I put a password, now I see again. Okay, so I added some stylings to it as it is not a CSS class. So I added it in the, I added when I pause the video. So when I click on connect wallet, it will give me this pop-up. I will write password. I click on unlock. Now it's giving me the address. Disconnect, connect. Now there is one more thing I want to show you. So if I go here, we have other things as well. So we have a chain ID here. Chain ID. Chain ID shows that exactly which blockchain is connected. So Let me do it in this one. I'll add a fragment here. I will add a BR. And uh, place it here. I'll just add a chain ID. So let me add one more BR. Yeah. Let me make it chain ID. And um, I forgot to add a CSS for this. So I'll just copy this here. And chain ID and let me make it different. Let's make it green. And uh, let's save this one as well. So now it is a chain ID. So you see it's, it is one right now. So if I go here and change it to this one, I'd say that this is a testnet and the, 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 the chain ID of this testnet is five. Now if I go here and make it this, now it is not connecting because the chain ID of Sepolia. So if I go here, search Sepolia testnet chain ID. So if I go, this is the chain ID one 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 five 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 one one one. So if I go to my connector, so this is there is no this chain ID. So if I add this here and copy paste, now if I go to my application, now if I click on connect, now it is connecting and there is a uh, chain ID of their wallet. So if you want to connect any testnet or mainnet or polygon or BNB or phantom or anyone You have to add their chain ID and this particular array uh, Yeah So yeah, that's pretty much about this video. I will see you In the next one and let me know in the comment section below if you have any question and if you if you request to uh, me to create a video on any topic just let me know in the comment section below thanks for watching bye